What's up guys, welcome back to Tech Phantom and in this video we are going to take a deep comparison between the MediaTek 700 and also the Snapdragon 732G. So without wasting any further time, subscribe to our channel Tech Phantom and also hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from us. So now that you have done that, let's get started. So starting off with the launch date of the processor, the MediaTek Dimensity 700U was launched on April 2021 which is the recent one and the Snapdragon 732 is launched on August 2020. Now about the CPU architecture, the Dimensity is of octa-core 64-bit whereas the 32G is also octa-core with cryo 472 and at 2.2GHz. On the CPU core side, we have a octa core 2 cores of ARM Cortex A76 at 2.2 GHz and the 6 core of ARM Cortex A55 at 2 GHz for the Dimensity 700 and now for the 730 Qualcomm Snapdragon we have we have 2 cores of Cryo 470 Gold at 2.2 GHz and 6 cores of Cryo 470 Silver at 1.8 GHz Cortex A76 and Cortex A55 so next on moving on to the size of the processor which is the processor fabrication the Dimensity 700 is of 7 nanometer processor and which is a 28% faster than the Snapdragon 732 at 8 nanometer. Now next one is the GPU performance of the, on the gaming of the both of these chipset. The MediaTek Dimensity 700 has the AR Mali G57 MC3 GPU whereas the Snapdragon has the Adreno 618 at 825 MHz. On the machine learning and the AI side, the Dimensity 800 hasn't mentioned with AI learning it's using but on the Snapdragon it says a Hexagon 688 DSP. On the RAM support which is the maximum RAM which both of these chipset can support is for up to 12GB of LPDDR4X at 2133MHz for the MediaTek processor and for the Qualcomm processor it's the 8GB LPDDR4X at 1866MHz. Next one is the display resolution which we see on the phone and for the MediaTek it's the FHD plus at 90Hz maximum resolution for the which the processor can support and whereas for the Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G it's the FHD plus at 90Hz too but with the HDR10 plus content available on that. Next one is the camera and which is the way mostly most people consider while buying the smartphone. The MediaTek Dimensity supports up to 64 megapixel of the main sensor in the primary lens as the dual cam single camera and for the six, if you want a dual camera then it will come with a 16 plus 16 of dual camera setup. Whereas for the Snapdragon it can come up to a single camera of 192 megapixels and 22 megapixels of dual camera. On video recording compatibility side we have the up to 2K resolution at 30fps, 1080p at 120fps and also the 720p at 240fps which is a slow motion and for the 732 we have 4K at 30fps, 1080p at 120 and others is the same. On the Bluetooth side both of the phones supports Bluetooth 5.1 which is the not the latest one but still they both support the Bluetooth 5.1. And when we come to the 5G modem, the MediaTek Dimensity has a 5G modem, but which is a 6 sub 6 gigahertz, whereas the Qualcomm has the only the 4G modem. On the Wi-Fi, the both phones comes with the Wi-Fi 5 and not with the Wi-Fi 6, which is the latest one. But considering these budget phones, it's not bad. Next one is the charging speed, how quickly your phone can charge support with this. And with the MediaTek, it's the Pump Express, and with the Qualcomm's, it's the Quick Charge 4 Plus and now moving on to the final finale which is the N22 scores on the MediaTek we get to see a 2,95,000 of N22 scores approximate and for the Snapdragon it's the 3 lakh of N22 score. For the Geekbench side we have a single core performance for the MediaTek is the 535 and 1695 for the multi core whereas for the Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G we have a 548 and multi core is the 1647. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this comparison between these phones, which they both will be supporting the Realme 8.
will be launching soon the smartphone later this month uh, with the, this mediatek processor and about the 732 we also have a redmi phones available in the market so also if you're looking for another processor comparison then let me know in your thoughts in the comment section below which comparison should i do and also if you are talking about the snapdragon comparison then we also have a playlist for that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the very next one